Hello everyone, I'm Theodora Gasolianti and as always we're painting Western Art Supplies. So today we will be painting mushrooms and I think it's a very nice and exciting subject and I think of late it's a very popular one as well. So yeah, I'm just going to show you a few different cute mushrooms and how to paint them with just a few materials. So today we will be using uh, mostly uh, watercolor and gouache also maybe some some small details so yes that's what we'll be doing today i hope you like the subject so hello joe oh morning yeah <laughs> i always forget how crazy the time difference is so yeah i hope you like mushrooms so i have um pre sketches here quite a few i don't know if you can see them anyway yeah, we're about to start. Uh, I'm just going to show you real quick the materials we will be using. So I was thinking of using today this new palette from their supplies. Uh, it's the, if I say it correctly, is this Rizu palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Beautiful colors. So I chose this palette because it has some really nice browns and some reds we will be uh, using to paint uh, our mushrooms with and also here in my jar I have a few brushes I might be needing they're uh, really small and they're perfect for that because we will be painting as you saw on a really uh, small scale so this is the new watercolor paper from Zenart Supplies it's a hundred percent cotton uh, it's a uh, cold pressed and yeah, this is one of the smallest, I think it's a smaller one, uh, size paper they have. Yeah, it's uh, at the size of a postcard basically, which I think it's really cute. Anyway, so now I'll be switching my camera so you can face my table. And we can start painting all these cute little mushrooms. So here they are. So I don't know if you have any particular preference to mushrooms. I don't know actually uh, what some of them are called. I think they have like names like flowers maybe, but I'm not sure. So now I'm just looking for, sorry about that, yeah, I'm looking for some tape. So first thing I'll be doing is uh, tape the, ah, oh. okay, I prefer the silver one. Hi, Ludinilo. Where are you from? So I'm glad when I see new people around. Okay. Okay, so we're taping our drawing to the board so it doesn't move around because that can be annoying. Okay. And another good reason is that if you tape while well, your paper across your table it doesn't buckle or wrinkle but that's in case you're painting you know with uh, a lot of heavy layers of a lot of color and water we will not be doing that today hello people hi Beck. Yes, I agree with you, Joe. I think, yes, the toxic mushrooms are have these really beautiful colors in order to fool you. So, yes, they're very beautiful, but dangerous. But today, since we won't be eating them, it doesn't really matter. I think it's fine to paint colorful, toxic mushrooms. So, here as well is my gloss palette. I think it looks beautiful. I like showing you my palette every time. So beautiful colors. 
and it's a jelly gouache in case you were wondering and here we have our watercolor palette and here i have another mixing area palette all right off the table okay so we will be starting with some beautiful red mushrooms at first so i'm just going to take some of this really nice red uh, which is a bit orangey and that's exactly what we need so we will start with a nice layer of paint here and i'm using a round brush this is a squirrel mix brush and i love using this one i really like this size it's a number five so it's not like too large and it's not like too small so just right so you can paint at any scale and it has this really nice small pointy tape so you can paint around things without getting messy so i guess this is one of the reasons why i really like using this brush okay so also sketching the mushrooms is quite easy uh but usually some of the mushrooms are very round on top so this isn't very hard to manage so I think this is a very nice subject, even if you're like a beginner. Uh, I think it's very easy to sketch and to paint. So it's perfect. If you want to, you know, practice an exercise and you want something simple and fun. Mm. Oh, hello. So you're from Philippines. That's nice. Uh, and you live in USA. That's cool. Thank you very much for joining us. Are you new to watercolor? So now that our paint, by the way, it's still wet. So we're doing a little bit of layering and blending just to give a little bit of depth to our mushroom so it's not that flat and i'm mixing a little bit of a deeper shade of red at the top to have a little bit more definition okay and a little bit here at the back for more depth in here as well Okay. And now I'm going to switch brushes and work at the body of the mushroom. And we're going to take see this really nice ombre shade. And I'm going to mix also a little bit of blue here. To create this really nice grayish brown shade and here I have a smaller brush so this is the number one round so what we do is we paint the inside of the mushroom some small lines here And now so you can see I, I shoot my brush and I got a smaller one so we can paint all these small details. So the mushrooms have like these really nice textures and it's very easy to create that impression with just a few small brush strokes and later they will look so beautiful when we add this really nice wet on wet 
with a wet double wet technique, we're going to add a few white spots on them later. So I think so far it looks very, very easy to do. So like I said, it's a very nice subject. Even if you don't have that much experience, that's fine. Because you don't have to use heavy layers of paint, um, too much water. Just a few brush strokes and as simple as that, you can paint your mushrooms. So here that my mushroom is dry. I'm just adding a few details here at the top with this darker shade. So I've mixed some red with a bit of this amber shade and we've got uh, this one. So I think that most people, uh, you received a mixing guide uh, from us as a reward for joining the group Inspiration Daily. So I think that if you study it a little bit, you will be able to color mix your own colors because sometimes you might not find the exact shade you're looking for already and you might need to alter the colors a little bit. It's really not that difficult just takes a little bit of practice, that's all. Okay, so when our mushroom dries, we're going to add those really nice uh, white marks. I'm gonna do this either uh, by using the white gouache, uh, or here I have some markers. This is an acrylic marker, so we can do this with this as well. And you can even use, um, white acrylic if you don't have gouache or acrylic markers that also works pretty well okay so now we're moving on to our next mushroom and this one is brown so again i'm going to take this uh, round brush this is the squirrel mix brush number five as you can see it's not a really large brush um, and since we're painting in smaller scale we don't need a really big brush If you're painting, of course, uh, in larger scale, yes, you need uh, bigger brushes for that. So now I'm just taking some of this really nice color we have here. So I believe this is the yellow ochre. So we're mixing this with the amber color we had at our palette. And now we will be painting again. We're starting with a thin layer of paint. So this is what I suggest to do. Just start with some thin washes and then if you feel like you need to go darker, you can go darker from there but just don't start to dark from the beginning because you might not be able to fix that later. But if you're going a bit lighter that's fine, you can always you know add some shadows later. Okay, so this is what we are about to do. Here at the top, we need a little bit more color. So that's great. So we're letting this uh, dry. And a little bit darker at the edges as well. Okay, so now we need to switch brushes. Hi, Barbara. So again, we're going with a smaller brush, the number one round. And I'm going to take some of this blue and a dark brown shade. So we're mixing blue and brown. And here at the center, this mushroom is quite uh, dark. 
So we have this really nice inky color here. But now in order to draw the lines, we need the color to be a bit lighter. So we're mixing this lighter yellow of yellow ochre to the color just to lighten it a little bit. And again, we're drawing some lines here. So basically you need a really small uh, brush to do that. So I'm using a number one round brush, but you can also, if you have one, uh, you can use a ringer brush as well. So this is a ringer brush. Uh, you can see the hairs are longer uh, in comparison with the number one round. So you can use this as well. Okay. And now we're just switching brushes again because we want to do uh, a little bit of a wash here. But I don't, I leave some white here and there of the paper. And that gives our drawing a little bit of texture. Okay, so sometimes uh, if you want to do some highlights, it's good to use the white of the paper. So be careful if you want to do that, not to lose all the white of the paper because you can't really easily find that again. You can use some gouache for the highlights as well. But if you don't have gouache, you can use the white of the paper. I remember seeing this artist uh, who was painting also with watercolor and doesn't use any uh, white paint, just uses the white of the paper and people uh, were in disbelief. But yes, they actually use just the white of the paper for the highlights. So I think this is dry, so we can add our white spots now. So this is a set of white, of, not all white, well, this is a white, um, acrylic marker. I really like to use the acrylic markers lately. It's basically acrylic paint but in a marker so you can use that also on any surface. Uh, you can use on paper like it's now, on wood, on glass as well, on canvas, anywhere really. Uh, very easy to use. I really, I really enjoy using them. Okay, so yeah, we painted a few white spots. I think those are, those are enough with our uh, acrylic marker. Okay. And now we're moving on to our next mushroom. Uh, I think it's this one, yeah. We should go to this one. I'm just checking for my reference. So I found some really nice uh, pictures on Pinterest, but there are some sites who also have some uh, royalty free images. And also if you're looking for references, uh, we started having this album uh, with images who, that are free for you to use. So here we have our Indian yellow not in area, so it's the uh, yellow ochre and a little bit of the brown again. And this mushroom is also brown. So now again, I am leaving some white areas here and there just to give a little bit of texture. Uh, you can do that, like I said before, and it will give a more uh, illustrative sense to your drawing, if that's what you're after, because sometimes it really also depends on your style as well. 
Okay. So today I haven't used that many different brushes. I've just basically, I'm using two, one to do the washes and one smaller one for the details. Also, in case you didn't know, you can also uh, mix your gouache colors with your watercolors. Since uh, gouache, if you thin it out with a little bit of water, it also has this watercolor effect. And since both colors are water soluble, they can really uh, be used together. And similarly, uh, you can also use acrylic as well with watercolor and gouache. Uh, if you thin it down with uh, a little bit of water, yes, you can use them together. And basically, I'm really uh, a huge fan, if you haven't seen my previous lives, I'm really a big fan of using uh, different mediums together and doing mixed techniques. I think it's really fun and I think its medium gives you uh, different effects and results and yes. <laughs> I really love to do that. But you can also work on just watercolor or gouache, that's also fine. Or maybe you just, if you're a beginner, maybe you want to get a bit more comfortable uh, with the materials first. And then try, you know, to spice things up a little bit. Now I'm just adding a little bit of a darker color here and there just to give a little bit more of depth and texture to a mushroom. And a little bit of a darker color here as well on top. So yes, yeah, mushrooms, if you notice them, they have some some spots, some of them are a bit uh, torn here and there. This one uh, is, so in this area it's a bit darker because it's a little bit torn. And here as well it has some, some marks, some spots. So the more detail you put into your work, the more realistic it will be. And if you want to paint details with uh, watercolors, just keep in mind that you don't need to have like too much water on your brush. You can paint details with mostly, um, well, almost dry brush strokes. So now we're just painting with the tip of our brush some marks and spots here and there. And we do the same to the smaller mushroom. So again, as you can see, I'm not using much color today. We're painting with dry brush strokes, light washes. So yes, this is a very nice and safe uh, subject for people who are beginners because you don't have to use that much water because sometimes when you're starting out, you don't know how much water you should use and stuff. So this is very simple and it gives you a sense of, you know, of how to control the water. Okay. We're painting a few spots here as well in this mushroom to finish it off. And we give a little bit of texture here. And a few darker spots here in there as well. Okay. So now we have a few more small mushrooms. So this one is less uh, colorful 
So this one is like a transparent blue mushroom. And we're using this nice cerulean blue. Uh, we think it's a transparent enough color to use. So again, we're starting with the bigger brush and we're leaving some white of the paper to show off. So maybe this is a poisonous mushroom, I'm not sure, maybe because it's blue. Have you seen guys any uh, strange mushrooms? So I live in the city so I don't see mushrooms that often, maybe once at the park, but I really love to eat mushroom soups. Okay, so now we're darkening our blue with a little bit of brown and this is what we get. It's a bit of a um, grey shade. So we add a few more details. Okay, and we make it a bit darker here at the bottom. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. So as you can see, there's so many different types of mushrooms, uh, so many different colors. Uh, this one is a, a dark colored mushroom. So it's a dark gray one. And I have this nice inky color from before, from the blue and the brown we've mixed. So I'm starting with a wash, like we always do, like I said before. And since it has some white marks, I'm leaving a little bit of the white of the paper to sew. Okay, and the body isn't that dark, it's just the light grey, so we're using the light grey from the cerulean blue and the brown we've mixed before. Oh yes, you should definitely uh, send them and add them, so we can add them to, yes, to our references, that would be beautiful. I've seen so many photos of mushroom that are at night and they're basically uh, glowing. I don't know if they actually glow, but yeah, they look beautiful. Yeah, so if, you, if you're able, please send them over so we can add them. Okay. So now we're adding a little bit of the darker inky color on top. Okay, 
and we're waiting for it to dry. So as we wait for that, we're moving on to our next mushrooms. Okay. So these are small brown mushrooms. So again, we're starting off with a light wash. So if you paint them as well, you can uh, post them here at our group and I can have a look at them and also give you some pointers if you want. So it, it's very important to receive critique if you want to, you know, become better. So yeah, if you would like to send them to me so I can tell you what we did well and what areas you need to improve, uh, that's totally fine. Oh, hello Paris, thank you for joining. Okay. So this mushrooms have just a few spots there. So we also have this mushrooms that are red and small right here. So again, we're adding a little bit of color and because they're very small, I'm using the small round brush instead of the number five brush. So I haven't made a post yet, but for this month, since we started, you know, the monthly challenges, uh, we will be painting some sunflowers, so you can start painting them as well. And also we give some discount codes to the people who participate. So I don't think you will like to miss that out. So, And I think it will be really good for you to, to practice on your flowers. And sunflowers are really, really beautiful. I think most of you really like them so don't forget to paint them and post them here on our group so I can have a look at them. Okay and now we have the small mushrooms here as well. So today, as you have noticed, uh, we have painted mushrooms with a limited palette. Yeah, I was thinking about it too. Yes, it's the home of the Smurfs. Also the fairies, I think. I've seen in fairy tales uh, fairies who live at mushrooms as well. Uh, that's also a beautiful subject. I might come with some illustrations later. Okay, so this other mushroom, those are two mushrooms and one is hidden behind the, the bigger one. And we're adding a few marks here and there as well. And we haven't, we're not finished with uh, the inky one yet. so. We add some small details here and there as well. And this one has some texture here at the bottom. And we're going to add some white marks with our white acrylic marker. So cool. And I also have some watercolor markers. I haven't used that much yet, actually. 
But yes, if you're painting small illustrations, I think that might be useful. Okay, so here I'm just adding some spots as well, a little bit of texture. Yeah, I think they look cute. And again, uh, we're working with just a little bit of water on our brush. Since we're painting, you know, small details, we don't want that much water. Now I'm just adding a little bit of definition here and there. A little bit, you know, a few marks. to make them more interesting and less flat. But, you know, I'm trying not to overdo it. And we're finishing off our tiny cute mushrooms. I'm just having some dark brown color here and just adding a few marks and spots as well so they have a little bit of detail and yeah I think our mushrooms are done Uh, yes, they're also, yes, so they're both acrylic and watercolor markers. Uh, they're both very, very interesting. Uh, those are mine, they're aqua pens. Uh, many colors inside. So, the ones I got, they have two tips. This is just a longer tip and this is a rounder one. And let's test them here. So, so you can paint very thin lines and this is the other tip that is uh, rounder. Also you can paint thin lines with this one. And let's see what happens with water. So yes, I'm taking this uh, brush I was using before, I'm just going to clean it. Okay. And let's see. So as you can see, it dissolves with water. The washes aren't very, oops, they aren't very opaque, they're a bit more transparent. But yeah, depending on what you want to do, I think they work very well. And if you're interested, there are also some really nice uh, water-soluble um, colored pencils as well. So yeah. So thank you for watching today. I hope you like the mushrooms. Oh, nothing. <laughs> no, you're welcome, girl. Uh, so yes, this is our mushrooms. I hope you like them. And if you attempt to paint mushrooms as well, don't forget to post them here so I can see them. Thank you very much for watching. Bye guys.